Back in the forest, the radio-tagged female king has spent the past two weeks with her mate. When another male wanders into their territory. snakes collide, everything is on the line. Often mistaken for a mating dance, this display is actually a form of ritualized combat. Unwritten rules govern the duel, and there's no biting allowed. Rising higher than a meter, each tries to pin the other to the ground. Final non venomous blow, the contest is ended. The resident male has lost, and he must leave his territory and his mate. And to the winner go the spoils. Like all males this time of year, this snake seems to have only one thing on his mind sex. But our tagged female has already mated and wants only to be left in peace. Unfortunately, she is about to play out a horrifying scene. At first, the new male King Cobra seems to be merely persistent in his courtship and the tagged female playing hard to get. But she's carrying another male's eggs. Is it possible he senses the rival's offspring? For whatever reason, his intentions turn from mating to murder. She is not fully immune to her own kind's venom. And he squeezes her in his vice-like jaws, pumping venom into her bloodstream. come quickly. He is her physical superior, but she will not surrender. After more than a half an hour, with every ounce of life left in her, she begins to roll. This death roll might be the final fight for freedom, or simply the final breath of life. But it signifies the end. After 45 minutes, the queen is dead. While the male's true motives for murder are unclear, he is a snake eater, so he begins to swallow her. But he may not have killed her out of hunger. Whether he's just an aggressive male on the rampage, 
or if some other variable led to a breakdown in the rules of the game, we may never know for sure. But the pregnant queen is too large, and he cannot swallow her. So he regurgitates her lifeless body and pushes on. <laughs> 